，拜拜。Hello, everybody! I'm so happy that you're back on my channel, and I want to talk with you today about a very interesting and effective way how to create your own nature journal, not only on a budget but also on a very effective way. As you know, this is our basic. We only need a notebook and a pen, nothing else. A nature journal is a combination of a diary and a sketchbook. That means we write and we draw in our nature journal. Of course, it's up to you what you prefer most. Do you like writing more, or are you more the artist? The sketcher, and you are preferring more to paint and to draw. I found a very nice solution for myself because I like writing and painting a lot. So I found a solution for myself how to combine both together in a very effective way. And I show you how I'm doing that. The biggest dilemma a nature journalist has is the choice of the notebook. Of course, you can take a very simple notebook and a pen. This is all you really need. But I want to show you the problem which can come up on that. If you are more the painter, you need a sketchbook. You use normally a good paper on that, which means it's expensive. A good quality is always needed. <laughs> If you are more the writer, yeah, then your trouble is you don't need an expensive sketchbook. It's okay to have a good quality paper, maybe with lines or a dotted one. So, how to combine sketchbook and diary together, and? This was my biggest problem I had always. I tried so many nice sketchbooks. I tried so many nice notebooks. All of them, no way, very good. But I was not confident with the solution, because I love the combination and the flexibility, and I want to have like a small library for myself. That means I needed a solution which was a combination of sketchbook and diary, and then. I came to a very, very interesting point. The diary part of my nature journal is filled with different facts. For example, date and time, location, how is the weather. Sometimes I count things. Sometimes I measure things, and sometimes. I do statistics, so I don't need any expensive paper to note this. But now we also have the second part of the nature journal, and the second part is the sketchbook. So I paint and draw all the creatures I see. For this, of course, I want to have a nice paper, a good quality, which I can use in a confidential way. That means when I use watercolor, I need a watercolor paper. But when we take a look in this one, you really see it's not possible. Maybe it's good for writing and making notes for the diary part, but as a sketchbook for watercolors or gouache, not possible to use. So, what to do? Here comes my solution. I want to introduce you my Filofax clipbook. This is the Filofax clipbook in the personal size. So, it is almost. So big as my hand. Of course, there is also a five and a pocket version possible. So 
you can choose by yourself which one you prefer. And you see, it's not a sketchbook, it's not a notebook, it's a binder system. And uh, I modified it a little bit. So I added a pen holder that I can just flip in my pen. And what I also did was I put some clippers on. So they are always there. And the reason why I choose the clip book because I can turn it around. If I want to sketch something, I have a very stable background and also there is no damage on the outside. So it's a very effective way when I have some paper here and I can use my clippers to fix the paper and I'm ready to go. Actually, so easy. The size is very comfortable because, as I said, it's just the size of my hand. I can take it wherever I go, in my bag, in my sack, everywhere I can take it with me. So the good thing on a binder system is the choice of my paper is flexible. That means if I want to make notes, I just take a note paper. Or if I just want to make short, tiny drawings, I can use blanket paper. If I go for watercolor, of course, then I take, for example, watercolor paper, or in my case, I prefer mixed media paper. Then I can do whatever I want. Sometimes it's useful to have a stamp to pre-stamp the pages. So I always do that. Here you see this is weather and temperature. So I can make notes on that. So this is my stamp for that. I bought that. This is very useful. So I really can recommend that. And uh, the good thing on all that is I really can modify a binder system like I want. I show you how. So if you know the Filofax system, the clipbook and also the wonderful organizers they have, then you know that generally all the setting is the same. That means I have my format I'm working in, but I also have additional things I can take with me. And with the clipbook, there's always a ruler coming with, which is honestly for nature journalists, very practical. So it's not only a bookmark, it's also a measurement taker. I can add that here. What I also have is a pocket. So I have different things in this pocket. The first is a magnifying folio. So I can magnify things like insects, flowers. That's very good. This is very effective. Then what I also have is some smudging paper. So I just, when I want to test my colors in watercolor or gouache, then I can smudge and check with the color of the plant or of the species I found. This one are, hmm, good question. I don't know the real word in English. Hmm, reinforcing rings? Ah, I guess reinforcing rings. So this is to protect the punch holes. So I took them in transparent that I just put them on that my notes are still inside and not get ripped off or something can happen to the paper. So if something happens to the paper, then it's just wetness. This is the only accident which can happen, but I cannot take it out. I cannot damage it because I protect this with this punch hole protector stickers. <laughs> Sorry, this is very German. Yeah, but as you see, it's a very easy thing. So I just open my clip book like that. I have the pocket, folio pocket here inside. I just add it here. I take my note paper this paper maybe I can use for a statistic or I can draw a map shortly or it's just a smudging paper just for sketches everything is possible 
and of course my wonderful mixed media paper. So, I'm ready to go. And if I want to draw, here we go. I just take it like here, I flip it, I clip it, and I'm ready to paint. I really can recommend the clip book because of the quality. I have this now for two years and it was in my Zach, in my bag, it was in different countries with me, it was also with me in the rain and uh, in a thunderstorm and uh, yeah, it was in the dirt, it fall down and you look, you look at this and this is still, it looks so new, <laughs> of course I cleaned up, but no damage on that. So I'm really, really confident with the material itself. So, and now we are coming to a very important point I want to talk with you also. And this is the transfer of your pages into your personal library. What is the personal library you're asking? I show you what I mean. So there is coming a time, you see, this is not such a big space here. It depends which kind of paper you are using, but you see, this is now mixed media paper. This is very thick. The note paper is not so thick. After a while, if you are a very busy nature journal, I would say maybe after half a month, if you do this every day, it will be full. So what to do with your treasures, your measures and your yeah, your, your, your drawings. What are you doing with this now? And I found a very beautiful solution for that. Let me introduce you the Filofax Domino Organizer. It's a planner. And as you know, Filofax have a planner system. The personal size is fitting 100% with the personal size of the clipbook. The only thing is that you cannot flip it. I'll show you inside. So, you see, of course, you have some pockets, left and right, and you have a pen holder. So, this is my personal library. If my clipbook is, yeah, on the limit of capacity, then I transfer everything into the nice domino. It looks very beautiful, so it's an aesthetic thing if you prefer to that. You can also add this in a other folder, it doesn't matter. Um, and you just can sort it like you want. Maybe you want to put in some registers and maybe you want to categorize. For example, one register for insects, for flowers, or for objects, or you want to just do a register for the months. Everything is possible. This is why you are here on my channel. I want to show you in future much, much more of that. I want to give you a small tour of these things I add inside. And remember, all these pages you see here, they were before in this one. So I want to give you a tiny tour of these inserts I have here inside. Of course, I have much more because I tried many different things. But just as an example, I want to show you some pages how this could look like in future for you. So that means here I was still inspired by my surroundings. I just took a quote. And uh, I love Lord of the Rings and I love always the Hobbit songs, which they remind me a little bit about the nature journalist life. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of uh, Lord of the Rings and uh, G.R.R. Tolkien's books. So I always come back to quotes of this wonderful books he wrote. Um, but it's also a possibility to add tiny drawing, something which is just inspiring you. You see a nice plant and then maybe you remember a song or you remember a poem 
or something different. So add it in your nature journal. This was a very, very quick drawing. It was rainy and it was thunderstorm and I had no time, but I was able to sketch this wonderful tree. The good thing is maybe one day I want to color it. I took a picture with my cell phone. That means I can come back to this drawing anytime and finish it or I leave it like it is. It was a very nice memory, but it was stormy and rainy, so I just add the date and that was all. On this day, I was checking the clouds, February storms. There was so much storm on this day and I was sitting in the house. I was watching the clouds and also the big thunderstorm coming. And I just painted with watercolor. And for this, you know, this is actually mixed media paper. So I don't need to use note paper. And if I want to have a nice quality in my sketch and in my painting, then, you know, I take the paper I need. And I don't need to make compromises. And this is why I love the binder system so much. Yeah, and here, this is a, uh, yeah. I took a blanket note paper and I made a hiking map. So it was a hike um, I did with my friends and we hiked from a castle to a cave and I documented on the way just the time, how we walked and uh, what kind of things we found. The weather of course and it was just one degree, it was really cold, there was snow, so it's still a very um, active memory. When I see that, it's just wonderful. Yeah, and then this is a typical note-taking paper, uh, note-taking note, sorry. Um, that means I found an interesting plant. I didn't know what it was. It was dry, it was winter, it was cold, it, it was already, yeah, the plant died already, but it was so interesting. And um, I made notes about that and a short, very short drawing about that. So I just had only um, a brown uh, a brown pencil with me and I also just my black pen here. And it's not a beautiful one, but it's just, you know, a reminder. And when I came home, I just noted, ah, I checked it out and said, okay, this is now this plant. I found it. So I researched also what I found on my short walk, I just noted. Then I here I made a, a sh small note about uh, my uh, herb garden in here around my house. So I was making notes how my plants are doing and it was just, you know, things I want to know, things what will happen and yeah, I was writing a small documentation about the birds and also about the worms I found. So I found some interesting things and I just took some uh, colored pencils and I made a short sketch on that. So you also can combinate that. So it's a very, very easy system. And as you see, I have here the protectors, the stickers on, so nothing will happen to the paper. It's safe. Yeah, and here I also took like a map. It was a hiking course too. Um, there was a, a horse stable with a lot of horses and there was a playground. There were some farmhouses and a lot of fields. And you see, it's not beautiful. Um, I also want to say your drawings and paintings, they don't need to be beautiful. It needs to be okay for you. You get better with the time. But this is a very important thing. You know, it's so alive in my memory. It's just for myself. And <laughs> it looks a little bit funny, of course. I just had a limited uh, palette of um, pens with me. So it's not the perfect map, but it does the job. And it's still a wonderful memory. So this one here, this is a very uh, special page. I posted this already many times. This is the flight routes of the different birds around my house. 
So I had sparrows and crows and crystals and magpies and uh, great tits. So they are having all their own route, how they fly to my house. This is my house and this is the garden, how they did come in, come out. So it was a, a really a bird airport and it was so interesting. And this is why I just made this tiny map. So it's like a, st it's a statistic and it's a map in the same way. So be creative when you are doing your nature journal. Everything is possible. Yeah, of course. I still have here a plastic pocket which is now empty. But you see all the things you can sort. And I also want to talk about one special thing. Because you see, here is still space. And here is still space. If I want to come back, maybe I want to continue about clouds. This is a very good example. Here we talk about storm in February. I can take the other page for storms in March or how is the weather in March. I can make a weather documentation in watercolor. You see, there are so many possibilities also in a binding system. A binder is not a limit. It gives you much, much more opportunities in nature journaling. And honestly to say, I really prefer that. Of course, I love paintings and I, as you know, I'm an artist and I love how big paintings come out. But for nature journaling, you should keep it simple and easy that you can do it every day. Or if you don't have a time every day, every second day. But especially these kind of short sketches. This was three minutes maximum. It's okay. And this is why I say you don't need to take fancy things into nature. Just take a clipbook. So no problem when it gets dirty or wet. Or you have an accident with water. Sometimes it can happen that you have your watercolor water and you, yeah, it falls and it falls over everything. Which means when you regularly take the inserts of here into your library, then everything is good and there is no damage if something happens. You always travel with light weight and you simplify everything. And as much more you simplify your nature journaling, as much more you can explore. And you find so many beautiful opportunities to continue. This was all I want to show you today. And thank you so much for your attention. And I hope we will see each other again on my channel. Take care and stay curious.